Hello. Um, I hope you can hear me, all of you. Um, I'm not Mossy, as you might see, even though my name says I am. Uh, my name is Tom. I hope you can hear me. How's my court look? Okay. All right. Now, just wait on a second because we're getting the absolute perfect camera angle. There we go. To you, you might feel like a kid who plays basketball with many different talents. To me, you are a phone on a bin. Awesome. All right. Um, so what I'm going to ask all of you to please do for me is to put yourself on mute and put your camera on. And if you can hear me, please give a big thumbs up. Wonderful. Um, great. Well, it's really good to see all of you. And uh, we're just going to wait because I think there's a couple more coming in. But um, yeah, great. Got a lot of you ready to play some basketball. Awesome. All right. Well, we might just get started. Um, so the first thing we're going to do, uh, we're just going to put our basketball down for a second and we're going to start off with our warm-up, okay? So uh, first thing we're going to start off with is I want you to find a line. So I hope you – I don't know if you can see my line here. But I've got a line here. All we're going to do is jump over and back 20 times. All right, ready, set. If you don't have a line, just use them, your imagination. Imagine there's a line in front of you. All right, ready, set, go. I'm right, going to do the same thing, but now just with our right leg. Okay, ready, go. All right, and now with our left. Awesome. All right, now we're going to do, you're going to be facing this line this way. Now we're going to turn and face uh, on the side. Okay, so now we're going to jump over 20 more times, but this time we're going side to side. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now, the same thing with our right leg. So, side to side for 20, just on our right leg. Job, and same thing on our left leg. I'll try and see you. Good job. Awesome. All right. Yeah, I had a couple people more waiting. Awesome. All right. Give your legs a little shake. Give your feet a little wiggle. All right. Next thing we're going to do, I was going to do a nice stretch of our... We're doing a few things at the moment. Yes, we are. Oh, show us again. Um, um, Alexa, so, really good. Marker. Excuse me. Um, sorry, but we're just going to ask everyone to mute their cameras. Um, just so we make this very, very easy. Video has been disabled. Is it? All right. Um, can I get a thumbs up if everyone can see and hear me? Sorry. Awesome. All right. Wonderful. Yep. So great, so all we're gonna do now is just a quad stretch. So just the front of it, what we're gonna do, grab your leg and then just pull it up to your uh, bottom and try and bounce. And we'll just hold this for a little bit. Cool. I hope everyone's enjoying the, uh, the good weather. I know I am. Good job. All right, now swap legs. 
the same thing on the other leg. Good job. So grab this leg and pull it to your bum. Fantastic. All right. Uh, next thing we're going to do is some high knees, okay? So we're just going to go for 10 seconds. Um, I'm going to try and run on the spot and count. But yeah, we're just going to do high knees. So just on the spot, on his ready, set, go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. All right, now we're going to do the same thing, uh, high heels, okay, or butt kicks. Ready, set, go. One, two, three. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. All right. We're going to get into some basketball stuff. So everyone grab their basketballs, please. And come back to the camera when you're ready. What we're going to do now, we're just going to start off with sort of getting the feel for the basketball. Okay. So what we're going to do here, if everyone sees the camera, what I'm touching right now is my fingertips. Okay, can everyone touch their fingertips? Good job. Just there. So what we're going to do, whenever we're dribbling, even when we're shooting, everything's coming off our fingertips, okay? So if we dribble, we're pushing the ball down with the top of our fingers. If we're shooting, it's rolling off our fingers. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to warm up our fingertips. So to do that, we're just going to start the ball at our belly height, so just our tummy. And all we're going to do is try and tap the ball between our hands, okay? Are so just tap the ball shooting? between here. We are going to do shooting. I don't know who that was, but I'm going to guess it was are, Oliver. Are we doing it now? We're not doing shooting right now, but we will do shooting eventually. Thank you, Ollie. All right, so all we're going to do, we're just going to start off with some ball taps on our tummies, and we're going to go for 20, okay? I want you to count to 20 taps. Ready, set, go. Once you've done 20, put the basketball above your head. Awesome. All right, now that the basketball's above our head, we're now going to try and do the same thing up here. So just ball taps up nice and high. Ready, set, go. So tapping that basketball between our hands, between our fingertips. So tapping with our fingertips. So just spread those fingers nice and wide. Those ball. Okay. Once you've done 20, I want you to put the ball between your legs. Great job. All right. Now we're going to do the same thing down here. It's going to be pretty hard. Okay. Ready, set, go. Oops. Now just remember, it is all okay if you stuff up. Good job. Once you're done with that, we're going to put the ball out in front like this. That big Frankenstein long arms. See, um, get the ball out. Ready? And now we're going to do the same like this. So try and tap the ball with your arms out straight in front of you. Oh, that is difficult. But I believe in all of you. Awesome. All right. Great job, everyone. We are now going to get into some dribbling. So what I want you to go do is I want everyone to find a marker of some type. So what I have, I think I have some cones. Yeah. Okay, I have cones. I have three cones. Now, you don't have to have cones. You can have a shoe, a remote control, a coin, a chair. A dog, a parent, a jumper. You could have anything. And if you don't have anything, just use your imagination. Okay, now what I want you to do is I want you to make a triangle with these three things, okay? Now, what we're going to do, we are going to we, uh, we are going to go with one hand and we're going to do a big lap of a triangle, okay? So we're going to go all the way around. Now, once you finish your lap, 
you have to turn around, stay drilling with the same hand, and do the lap again. Okay. Everyone made- see me? I hope you can. Now, so go and make your triangle. I don't think you can see all my stuff. You know what? This is what I'm going to do. Oh. Right. Proving it more difficult. I thought it would be. Awesome. All right, we're set. Great. So we're going to be doing laps of our triangle. Now, once you go around and back with one hand, we're going to change hands and do it to the, and now do go around and back with the other. Okay. So I'd recommend going with your strong hand, which is going to be a right hand for most of you. We're going to do a big lap. Everyone ready? Set. So once you go around and back, the triangle with one hand, swap over to the other. Good job. All right. Awesome job, everyone. Great. Well done. All right. Now, once we finish that, we're going to try and do what I call a crossover. So... Just looking here for a second, a crossover is when we are bouncing the basketball and we swap from one hand to the other. Now, if, if anyone knows, I'll give you a permission, you can unmute yourself if you want to for a second. Who knows what shape, like what letter of the alphabet does a crossover look like? Z. Um, ha- well done. Z. A v. v. Good job. So, I want everyone, we're going to be doing crossovers this time for every dribble as we go around our triangle. Okay? So, you're going to be doing crossovers as you go around your triangle. All right. We ready? Set. Go. Now, I want everyone to do five laps of their triangle. Make sure you're going around both ways. Go around clockwise and anti clockwise. Good job. That's it. Keep doing your crossovers. Well done. Keep drawing those V's. Good job. Good job. Awesome. All right. Let's get in the top. I'll drop my microphone. All right, what we're going to do now is we're going to set up one. I want you to have one, um, one point of the triangle, and we're going to say that is your favorite point. Okay, now you're going to start at this point and you're going to come back to this point. So what we're going to do here is you're going to dribble up to a cone. Once you get there, you're going to do a crossover and then dribble backwards to your favorite cone again. Okay. Then once you do that, you can go the other way. So dribble up to the other cone or other marker, do a crossover and then dribble backwards to your favorite cone. Okay. So when I go up to the cone and then back to my favorite cone after doing a crossover, that is worth, we'll say that's one line drawn, okay? So up and back's one line drawn. We want to draw 10 lines all together. So five each side. So 
What I want you to focus on when you're doing this, I want you to try and keep your eyes up. And I want you to try and keep your legs low so your knees are bent the whole time, okay? So we're going up to a cone, doing a crossover, and coming back to our favorite cone, okay? Can everyone see this? So we're dribbling up, doing a crossover, making a shape of a V, and then we're doing a dribble backwards. Favorite cone. All right, we want 10. Ready, set, go. Good job, good job. So we're always, we're making that, that V. So we're drawing V, we're drawing lines. Well done, Sasha and Sean. Well done, Max. Good job, Zena. Good job, Jim. Well done, Harvey. Well done, Remy. Finish. Good job, Ollie. Well done, Ollie. Good job, awesome. All right. Now, once you're finished, I want everyone to come back to the camera. Good job. All right. So now, I'm gonna teach you a new dribbling skill, okay? And this is called an arm bar. So what an arm bar looks like, we have our legs nice and spread. We have our knees bent. We're dribbling with one hand. Now the other hand is gonna be our arm bar. We put this arm up. Now what this does is when defense come and try and take the ball off you, you can protect it because you have your arm bar. You can protect the ball and keep the defense away. So. We're gonna use this skill, the arm bar now, in the same drill. So starting at our favorite cone, we're I've now gonna dribble. That's awesome. We're gonna dribble up to it, one of our cones. You're doing a crossover. Now on your um, backwards dribbles, you now have your arm bar up. Okay, and then we're gonna come back backwards. All right, same thing. Once you get back to your favorite cone, you go to the other cone, crossover. And we call these retreat dribbles, okay? But backwards dribbles. So after our crossover, we're going backwards with our arm bar up. Okay, so I want you to practice having that arm bar up and try and keep your eyes up so not, you're not looking at the ball while you're dribbling. Okay? Ready, set, go. Good job. Good job. Well done, Zena. Well done, Max. Oops. Job, Jim. That's it. Keep that arm bar up. Well done, Harvey. guys awesome once you're done come back to the camera awesome. all right now can i get a thumbs up if you have a wall or a parent that you can pass the basketball to so if you have someone you can pass the basketball to or a wall that you can throw it off and it let it will come back to you. Good job. Awesome. Um, can't see. Is it Max, Patty, and Damien? I can't see you. So I'm gonna hope you can. If you can't, it's okay. So what we're gonna do now. Now we're gonna add a bit of passing into our dribbling. All right, so I'm very lucky. I have a nice little trampoline. 
Whilst travelling, little rebounder. Thingy my jiggy. So, what we're going to do is we're going to practice. We're going to put this, our passer or our wall, uh, just above what we had our favourite cone, okay? And now what we're going to do is you're gonna st we're going to be going between the two other cones, okay? So we're going to be dribbling side to side and crossing over, okay? So crossing over and going side to side between these two cones. Now, when I call go, what you're going to try and do is pass it and get it back as fast as you can, okay? So what we're working on now is being able to dribble and then when something comes towards you, like a defender, you have quick reaction speed so you can... Um, you can pass it very quickly after dribbling, okay? So I'll give you a demonstration. So I'll be dribbling side to side. And then I call, go, I'm going to pass it and get it back. All right? We're just going to try a few of those. Ready? Steady. All right. So try dribbling, going side to side. And we'll try work on some quick passes. Ready, go. Good job. Dribbling and go. Good pass, Remy. Well done. And go. Good pass. Well done, guys. Good job, Zena. And go. Good pass, Eve. Well done. All right. So what we're going to practice now, and I'm going to change the angle of this just for a second, is now we're going to try and do the same thing. Now, this might be a little bit harder, but what I want you to try and do is try and pass the ball with one hand. Okay. So that might be like you put your hand underneath the ball and you scoop it, that's okay. Or if you can, you can try and push it and have your hand on top of the ball. Okay, so what we are gonna be doing now, you're just gonna be dribbling the basketball. When I call go, so we're gonna be doing cross, uh, we'll start with our right hand. So dribbling the basketball with our right hand. When I call go, you're gonna try and hit, throw it like a scoop or push it with one hand, okay? So example like this, we're dribbling, I call go, you pass it and get it back. Oh, we can't see me. So I call go, we pass it, get it back. All right. So now we're trying to pass the ball with one hand. Now, what's, what can be easier is put your hand underneath the ball. So I, I'm dribbling the ball. I call go, put your hand underneath the ball, and you're scooping it. Okay. All right. So we're going to try and learn to pass with one hand. Ready? So dribbling with that right hand. And when I call pass, that's when you pass, okay? So start dribbling. Good job. And pass. Good job. Well done, dribbling and pass. Good job, Zena. Good try, that's it. Dribbling and pass. Well done, Harvey. Dribbling and pass. Good try, Ollie. Well done. And pass. Good job, Jim. Dribbling and pass. Well done. Awesome. So now we're going to do the same thing. So I want you to always pass with your right hand just for now. But now we're going to be doing crossovers. Okay. So if everyone looks at the screen just for now and watch, you're going to be doing crossovers like this. And if I call pass, you're going to wait. Next time it gets in your right hand, then you're going to try and pass it with that one hand, okay? So now instead of the ball just coming from straight up and down, now it's coming from our letter V, okay? So it's going to be coming down from a different direction. So then we're going to try and pass it forward. 
Okay, so a demonstration, we're doing crossovers. I call pass, I'm gonna try and pass it and catch it. All right, ready, set, go. So start off with crossovers and pass. Good job. Good job. Crossovers and pass. Well done. Good job, Zena. And pass. Well done, Harvey. Job and pass. Well done, Max. And pass. Awesome. Great job. All right. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to learn to pass fake. So, um, I've got a little saying, and that is eyes sell lies. So, eyes between your hair and your nose, they, uh, they help any kind of fake in basketball. So, the reason we might throw a pass fake, so a pass fake is when we pretend to pass the ball, but we don't actually, we hold on to it, okay? Now, why we might do that in a game is because sometimes the defense are all on you and you're gonna try and make them go away. So you go, go fetch the ball and the ball doesn't go that way, but, and the defense, they don't know, they go run for the ball, okay? So what we're gonna do now, same thing, you're gonna be dribbling your basketball. You can either do up and down just with one hand, or if you feel comfortable, you can do crossovers. And when I say go, you're going to pick the ball up. You're going to pass like one way and then pass it to your parent or to the wall that you have in front of you. Okay. So just doing crossovers and I say go, you pass fake and then pass it and get it back. All right. So the saying again, the saying is eyes sell lies. So if you're going to do a pass fake, you got to make sure you're looking where you're trying to fake it out. Okay. So if I'm just trying to fake it, I'm passing that way. I'm gonna look that way. Awesome. All right, ready? So dribbling and go. Good job. Well done, Eve. Job, Max. Good job, Zena. Well done. Good pass, Vax. And go. <laughs> on, Harvey. That's it. We'll go for five passes. Okay, once you've done five passes, come back to the camera. That's great. Awesome. So once you've done five passes, Come back to the camera. I'm going to add one more little thing. Good job. All right. So now, this time, just the next thing for our little pass fakes. Now, I want you to step this time. So if you're going to fake, so this is my left. If I'm going to fake passing to my left. I'm not just going to move the ball. This time I'm going to step with my leg as well, okay? So I'm dribbling, but dribbling the basketball. I say go. I step when I fake it, and then I pass it, okay? So I'll do what you think. I'm dribbling. Go. I step and fake, and then pass it. Awesome. Now, some of you might know, but the reason we step when we pass is because our legs are the strongest part of our body. And that's how we can make sure that we pass it very far. So when we do a big step in front of us. So the, the, the stronger you step, the further you'll be able to throw the ball and pass it. All right. So you're going to do the same thing. Just dribbling the basketball across from your wall or your parent. And when I say go, or whenever you want to actually, um, just do a pass fake and then pass it, get it back, okay? We're just gonna go for 10, 10 passes. Ready, set, go.
So. Well done, guys. That's it. Step with your fake. Job Eve, practicing your dribbling. Well done, Fang, getting creative with your backgrounds. Awesome. All right. Um, can I get a thumbs up if you have a ring, a basketball ring, or a thumbs down if you don't have a basketball ring? Thumbs up. We got thumbs down. Yeah, we got we got a few no's, so just... yeah. I reckon I can hear Damien. Yeah, I don't know. Um, so... A year. A year, he says. So I'm going to ask again. Pretty please, um, if you can turn off, uh, just just mute yourself. Pretty please. This is what I'm going to do. All right, mass control, awesome. All right, what we're going to do? We're going to use our uh, little our markers and actually I wouldn't mind if you can get more than three this time so what I want you to do I want you to see if you can find another three markers okay so I'm going to have a chair um, and two other basketballs okay they're going to be my two markers now what we're going to be doing is what we call uh the game is called Gates, okay? So, you might see markers in front of you on your deck or your living room or the basketball court you're at. But to me, they're not markers. To me, they're not cones or chairs or basketballs. To me, I have three gates in front of me. Now, what this game is, is I'm gonna count from 20, and I might just do it in my head. And while I'm counting to 20, you guys have to see how many times you can open and shut the gates in that time. Now, the way you open or shut a gate is by going through them, okay? So I've got a little gate here with two cones. I've got a gate here with a, two basketballs, and I've got a gate here with a cone and a chair, okay? You know what? Yep, that works. All right, so what I want you to do, I want you to try and see how many times you can get through these gates in 20 seconds, okay? So just place them wherever you want to. Get to it. All right, ready, set, go. Three, four, five. Good job, good job. That's it. Get through those gates. Keep dribbling, Ollie. Keep dribbling. And stop. Great job. All right. Can I get a thumbs up if you got five gates? Five or more. Thumbs up if you got 10 gates or more. 
Okay. This is harder to get feedback than I thought, but oh, great job. That's a better way, Zena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put up how many gates you got through with your fingers. I got 90. 90? That is a great effort for 20 seconds. Well done. All right, we're going to go again. But this time, we're going to be dribbling and walking backwards, okay? So now we're going to be going through our gate, but we have to be going backwards. So what I need you to do, I need you to put your chins to your shoulders so you can look behind you so you know where you're going and you don't trip over, okay? So now we're going to be going backwards. You might lose your ball like I just did, but that is okay. All right, ready? Steady, spaghetti. Go. Good job, Zena. Well done, Eve. Well, done, Max. Well, done, uh, Ollie. Uh, Jim, good job, and stop. All right, we're showing your fingers with how many gates you got through. And 98. How many was that, Ollie? 98. 98. Well done, honestly. Um, I think the next Five. best. Five. That is a really good effort, too. Great job. 65 from Arnav. Wow, 10, all right. I think I got four, so that's a really good effort, guys. All right. The next one, we're gonna do the same thing again, but now every dribble you do, you have to do a crossover, okay? So remember, what letter do we draw when we do a crossover? Hmm. That's right, a V, good job, Harvey. Awesome. So I want everyone doing crossovers when they're dribbling around, getting through their gates. Ready, set, go. Good job. One rule I thought I should have said is you can't go through the same gate twice in a row. Or else I'd just be jumping back and forth. Oh, don't sleep, Ollie. Keep dribbling. Well done. Well done. Good job, Zena. And stop. Good job, guys. Awesome. All right. I'm going to ask if everyone can go grab a quick drink. And we're going to come back for a little game. Well done, guys. So grab a quick drink and then come back to the camera when you're ready. Mommy, I want you to pay the I'm just, I'll be back in one second, okay? I'm just going to get your shoes and then I'll be back, okay? No, I don't want my shoes on. Yeah, you need to go and get some, 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 What did you say, Max? Right. All right. Now. I fixed the cone. Well done. All right, so this last pit we're going to do is what I call Tom's favorite skills, okay? So I'm going to try and teach you a couple cool tricks that you might not be able to use in a game, but they definitely look cool uh, when you just show off, okay? So you can show your parents this, you can show your brothers and your sisters this, you can show your dog, you can show your classmates, your teacher, Whoever you want to, okay? These are going to be our cool tricks, our cool skills, okay? So, the very first one, what I need everyone to do, you're going to try and balance on one leg, 
Okay, so you can put one knee up. Now what you're gonna do, you can put one knee. See how my knee's in front of my other leg? So this, my right knee is in front of my left leg. It's in front, okay? Now, what you're gonna try and do now is you're gonna try and bounce it down and it's gonna bounce up onto your knee. All right, so I want everyone to try and give a try with that. Parents, that viewers included too. All right, so try out this cool skill. Nice. Good job. So try and put your knee up first and then bounce it. Well done, Zena. Go for it, Remy. Nice. Nice job, Remy. Good skill. Well done. Job, Ollie. Nice. Nice job, Jim. Well done, guys. Awesome. All right. Ready for your next skill or your next trick? Okay, this one. What I need everyone to be able to do is spin the ball, make the ball throw it up and make it spin like this. So it spins sideways, okay? So it's gonna throw it up and make it spin sideways. Now, the other thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put your hands together like this with your palms facing down. So you make a big O, whoops. That was my phone. Didn't crack. It is all okay. All right. So you're going to make a big O. So see this? It's like a big O with your chest and your arms and your hands. Okay? You're going to do it like this. So what you're doing now, you're going to throw this ball up and you're going to catch it on the back of your hand and it's going to roll around your arms like this. Okay? So I want everyone to try this. If you don't think you can do it, you probably can. Okay, parents, that's you included too. So we're throwing it up, spinning, and we're catching it on the back of our hand and we'll roll around our arms and our chest. And then we're all going to make the Harlem Globetrotters. Or we'll make a new team, the Frankston Globetrotters. Awesome. So give it a try. Go for it, Ollie. So throw it up, spin it, and catch it on the back of your hand and it'll roll around your arm. So try it, throw it up, spin it, and then catch it and roll it. This one is harder, I'll give you that. This is The first one was easier. But at least you got one trick and maybe some of you got two. Awesome. All right, well, great job, everyone. I want to say a big thank you for everyone who showed, showed up and played some basketball with me today. Um, but that is our session. So I hope you learned something. If you didn't learn any cool, uh, any good skills for basketball, at least you learned a cool trick or two. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. See ya. Bye. 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 Yeah. Bye-bye. Awesome. Right. Just me and Mr. Fang. Um. Great. Hi, recording. Watch this. Twenty twenty two, we ready.